Welcome to day two of Write Myth Scribes. It's Pika Lee, and I hope you're ready for a really fun video today because I really wanted to write my author's letter to myself with you. Now, if you're new to my videos, welcome, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. My channel is filled with videos for writers and that is of the screenwriting nature and the novelist nature and maybe a few for the filmmaker in you about hard work, knowledge, and the mentality to build your writer's foundation. Now if you haven't heard yet, I'm doing Write Miss. This is the second day and I am working on a bunch of videos for you leading up to Christmas so that we can actually go ahead and enjoy the last few moments of this year doing what we love to do, writing, and making sure we get in and wrap up the last of our goals or make sure that we have some really great stuff to bring into the new year with us. Now, if you haven't heard of this letter, it's actually something that I saw on Instagram. Some author had written a letter to herself. I guess it was written a few years ago and she was waiting until the day that she was published to open that letter. Now, of course, because I do screenwriting and I also do novel writing, I wanted to make two letters, one to my screenwriter side and the other one to my novel writing side. I wanted to kind of encapsulate that into a letter so that I can seal it on up and open it when I'm published or when I have my film put onto the big screen one day. Now for the occasion, I've donned my artist clothing and I have gotten ready to write my little heart out in my journal. I really wanted to handwrite my letters, so I don't know how you plan to do this, but I definitely want it to be handwritten because I'm used to handwriting everything since I started. So it's something that's gonna be a little bit more nostalgic for me and I feel like it might be a little bit more heartwarming. So let's get started. So when I saw the post on Instagram, I was really inspired to bookmark it and I couldn't find it for this video, but eventually when I do, um, hopefully I'll do another video on it. But it was the coolest idea. So she actually hand wrote this letter and put it into a sealed envelope and then placed it on her bookshelf for when she actually became published. She could just pull it right off and read a little bit of a congratulations letter to herself and sort of a where she started letter. So I'm not really sure if I want to start this like, dear myself or like, dear Pika. Also, I like to date my stuff, so I highly recommend dating this entry. So 12, 13, 2021. I thought this would be a lot easier. Mm. I should have known it would be this complicated because when I write those super fun, beautiful sentimental cards, they take a lot. They take a lot of thinking and they take a lot of memory and they just kind of, I kind of stare at the blank card for a while. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I stare at the blank card for a while and try to figure out what would they want me to say and what is true about 
what I want to write. So what is true about their birthday or what is true about this holiday? And then I kind of figure out from there what I want to write. But usually I kind of try to start it and then I sort of ramble through some of it and then I kind of get into it. So it's sort of like actual writing for me now that I think about it. Hmm. probably think it'll never happen again. No, that's like super negative. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now that you're here, you probably think... Now that you're here, you probably think, thank goodness I didn't stop revising. You have to keep writing if I have to keep writing. So keep writing until you finish that letter. You never stopped. You thought you were running out of time. A sweet Hamilton reference can't go without showing you this amazing pin. Yes, it's a Disney fantasy pin and it's just beautiful. Made by the amazing Pin It On Magic. Yeah, it's sort of my baby. I look at it like every day while I'm working, so yeah. 
Did anybody else get obsessed with Hamilton because a best friend actually showed it to them and played it so much that you basically totally started to identify with it and then basically went down a rabbit hole buying the whole album yourself and listening to it all the time. And now you know basically all the words. I did. I'm feeling the juices flowing the more that I just kind of ramble and write. So if you're feeling kind of lost, you don't really know what to write, start with writing things that you didn't think you'd get over and how you might feel now. So I guess my sort of, I guess my sort of advice to you would be to imagine yourself there years from now, or maybe even days or months from now, however close you are to achieving that. Think of it, dream it up. What do you see? Where are you? And how do you think you would feel reading this back to yourself? What are the things that you would want to hear from yourself? And for me, I would want to know how much hard work I put into it and how it was okay to struggle. How it was a beautiful process getting myself all the way to where I am now or to my future self. And so basically I've written to enjoy it, to make sure that I know that we know how hard we worked for this and that this is just our commitment that got us here and our hard work that got us here and to enjoy it and revel in it for a little bit. Don't let anybody take it away. So I guess for me, it's more of a congratulations to myself. I am making sure I know that I am happy to be on the journey for myself in the future and to help me get to that point. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> so, My writing to myself is complete. It's weird, I didn't think that I would feel all these feelings writing to myself, and writing to myself I really feel like I spoke to myself. I am probably going to read this in the future and I don't know, wail like a baby probably because it's very touching, so... <laughs> that was kind of fun. Okay, I mean, this may be the chillest video that I've done so far, but I hope that you enjoyed writing this little letter to yourself and making sure you tell yourself in the future how you feel and how proud of yourself that you're going to be once they get there. Again, remember to drop down in the comments one line or something from your letter to yourself and let me know what you wrote. I'm gonna go ahead and drop mine down below. And I hope to see you all in the next video and happy write miss. Also now have a lot to share with others about the process. Are we still doing YouTube?